We are live with yet another tuner for NHL 19. This is tuner 1.3 went live on October 24th, 2018. Because imagine them releasing a tuner for last year's game at this time. It's short, but it does a lot to improve the flow of the game. Let's go through each of these points. I'll explain to you what they mean and give you my thoughts on them. The first bullet point, tune down AI aggression toward the puck carrier and loose pucks in online versus in hut. Oh yeah, I should mention that this tune is primarily for the competitive guys. If you're playing franchise mode or threes or something, you're probably not gonna feel the effects of this too, too much. So before the tuner, a popular complaint about NHL 19 was how aggressive the AIs are. Even they, blah, 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 even though they don't actually do anything, by just standing in front of you, they could trigger incidental contact where they'll just touch the puck and you'll end up losing it because of that. And then that's when they'll be able to take the loose puck away from you. So later today, post-patch, I ended up playing against Young Gren in competitive seasons. If you don't know who he is, he's a top player that's consistently placed high in tournament and even won a few probably more than I know. We played once before and he absolutely slapped my butt cheeks round and round so I was ready for round two. Not the butt slapping part. Let's be clear about that and he's gonna undress me and my AIs to give him his third goal of the game. What a beautiful play and it demonstrates that exact first point. The AIs especially the one in the middle is gonna skate towards them but he's gonna back off a little bit and not try to do anything because it's the player's responsibility to stop the puck carrier. Point number two, further muting of AI defensive actions in online versus and hut. So sometimes uh, prior to the patch, even though they wanted to cut down on like AI poke checks and sticklists, sometimes for some reason the AI still went for those. Maybe the intention wasn't to get rid of them completely, but now it should rarely happen. So in a case like that, the middle AI could have went for the stick lift to stop uh, Gren from undressing me, but it seems like he had his salad ready to be undressed. He put a little too much dressing, that's what happened. Bullet point number three, improved cases where an AI goalie was reacting too quickly to passes even when not reading the pass. There are a lot of these cases where the goalie can't even see where the puck is, and you'd pass it and he's already over there. So that's where you'll see a lot of those godlike saves from the goalie. Spoiler alert, my game against Gren went into overtime and this clip kind of uh, demonstrates what I'm talking about. But if I had more time, I'd certainly dig something up from previous games. Watch what happens when this puck gets to Gretzky in the middle. The goalie's in butterfly position and he's getting screened by the defenseman in front. When I make the pass, he still goes over to the right but not nearly as fast as he would before the tuner. Again, better examples could be used before the patch, but that's all I had from clips after the patch. Bullet point number four, improved cases where an AI goalie was able to recover too easily against their momentum. What I believe that's trying to say is when a goalie moves too far too fast, for example, when trying to stick with a pass, and then you end up doing another pass back, the goalie was able to just easily get back into position to try to stop that one-timer. There may be other situations like that, but the idea with these two tunes were to pretty much make goalies weaker. Up next, improved cases where goaltenders' passes were getting overly assisted. Thank the hockey gods that they fixed this, because it seemed like every time my goalie got the puck, he was just gifting the puck to the opposing players. It seemed like the magnetism was working the opposite way. Instead of trying to find your players, it was finding the opposing team's players. And that's if my goalie comes out and plays the puck. You could never trust him to make a pass in front of him. Up next, improve some cases where players would sometimes lose the puck from incidental contact. So this is another game that I played earlier today. Incidental contact is when the puck becomes loose because it happens to touch like someone's skate or someone's stick, but that player wasn't using a defensive tool to try to take away the puck. So you'll see it in a case like this where he skates into my group of people and he really only loses the puck at the very end not the greatest example but we'll work with it it starts up here 
when he poke checks this puck, his other player is going to get it and I'm just going to skate into him causing him to lose his puck. And then a bit further down, he's going to skate into my group of two players, which isn't particularly exciting, but he ends up losing the puck at the very end of my defensive skill stick. I think it's more for those cases where it feels like bumper cars out there, like four plus people going at it for a loose puck and they all just bump into each other and the puck becomes loose like every second. Basically, they tone that down so that you don't lose the puck as much, at least when it comes to specific circumstances. Finally, we have improved a player's ability to withstand push checks at lower relative speeds, especially from behind. This one's pretty awkward because I just came out with a video recently showing you guys how to play defense. And one of my tips was just how overpowered those tiny pushes from behind really are. So now they're a little bit less reliable. I still don't know to what extent exactly. It might just be you can't do them as frequently with the little guys compared to the big guys. So those are the changes in the latest tuner. Since launch, EA has been releasing patches and tuners that haven't necessarily been helping the health of the game. Maybe what they thought they were doing was right, but just a lot of competitive players especially did not like the direction that they were going. So this tuner finally gets us going in the other direction, getting rid of a lot of the randomness, a lot of the skill zoning, goaltenders making too many crazy saves, but expect them to continue making some crazy saves at least. So this tuner was really good and I am happy that they released it. They still got a little bit of work to do, but hopefully they keep trending in this direction. What do you guys think of this tuner? Have you had a chance to play a couple of games with it yet? Do you think EA is going to continue to make patches and tuners that we're going a like that'll do it for me if you guys have any questions or need any help let me know in the comments i'll be happy to respond to you when i can thanks for watching and i'll see you in another angel 19 video unless you want to go back to my angel 18 videos then i'll see you there too